Hey, it's me, Karen, the Journey Girl, coming to you again from back in the beyond in Ferry County, Washington. And today it is another cold, blustery winter day. So I am making something that I have been making for years and years and years. It's our family favorite chili. And it's, it is a chili recipe that I have really not altered much at all over the past 45 years or more. And I have shared this recipe with multiple friends and family and they have all enjoyed it, totally enjoyed it. This is not a, this is not a Texas chili. This is not a chili that's going to burn your tonsils on its way down. This is a chili that is indeed family friendly. Everyone enjoys it. It has just enough heat, just enough spice, just enough sweetness. So I'm going to finish chopping up this onion and then we're going to get busy making this family favorite chili. All right, we're going to get started building this chili. And I have one pound of 80-20 ground beef. And oh, in, the, in it goes. Hear that sizzle? Ooh. We absolutely love this. This is one of those recipes that quite often I'll make a double or even tri triple batch because it freezes very, very well. It's so nice just to be able to pull it out of the freezer. To this ground beef, I'm going to be adding a cup and a half of chopped onion and a cup of diced red, or chopped red, uh, chopped green bell pepper, which really is, is you know, I, you don't have to be really accurate with the measurement on that. If you have a bell pepper, chop the thing up and, and throw it in. It really doesn't make that much difference. Also, I have a whole, large whole jalapeno that I have diced up. Now, with jalapenos, you never really know what you're going to get. Some of them are quite mild. Some of them are quite potent. So I always taste a little piece before I decide how much I'm going to put in. So this one had kind of a little bit of a, a, of a kick to it. So I only put in about three quarters of this large jalapeno. It's like, yeah, my husband would love to eat the whole thing as hot as he can get it, but not for me. And again, this is family friendly. So we want to make sure that everybody in the family will eat and enjoy this chili. So, oh, that looks nice. Okay, it is time. In goes the jalapeno. Or as we jokingly say around here, jalapenos. Because it's fun to say. And in goes the onion and the green bell pepper. Now these are going to so take a couple minutes in the pan here to soften. And that's all we need to do is get them soft. So what else do I have here? I have three tablespoons of a good quality chili powder. Um, you can get chili powders on the cheap and honestly they just don't have the flavor. So make sure it's a good quality. I have a teaspoon of, of ground cumin which I love cumin, it's wonderful. I have a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then I have a secret ingredient. When you're building a chili, you want to build layers of flavor, especially if you're not relying on heat to give it that punch. I like layers of flavor. So my secret ingredient is a teaspoon of cocoa powder. So, those will be going in real soon. All right, I'm putting in the chili powder and the ground cumin. And the aroma continues to get better and better. Oh, so good. Salt and pepper going in. Thank you. 
And my not-so-secret ingredient, because I've just told everybody about it, one teaspoon of cocoa powder going in. Man, that smells good already. Now I have rinsed and drained two cans of dark red kidney beans. And you rinse them to get that excess sodium off because they, they are baked, cooked in a lot of sodium. So in they go. And last but not least, I have 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. Those are canned. Well, I shouldn't say last but not least, because we are going to add two cups of water, because this is going to simmer on your stove top for at least an hour, preferably an hour and a half. The longer it simmers, the more the flavors meld together. And chili, like so many other soups and stews, always seems to take, taste better the next day. Which in my situation is actually good because I'm not going to be home tomorrow. So this is going to be cooked and put in the refrigerator. And when I get home, I have dinner ready. And it's going to be even more better, more, more better, <laughs> even better than what it is when I finish cooking it this evening. So I'm just going to turn the heat down to a simmer. And we're going to let it go for about an hour and a half. And let me see if I can just... show you a picture of what we got going on here. Does that not look amazing? I'll see you a bit later. Oh, so this chili has been simmering for about an hour and a half now and it's absolutely wonderful, perfect. It smells wonderful, it tastes wonderful, it's nice and thick. And I'm going to show you what it looks like here in the pot. Yeah, isn't that great looking? Oh! There's just one little more secret that I have to put in here. Don't tell anybody. At the very end of cooking, I stir in a tablespoon of honey. It just adds a little bit of hidden sweetness that you don't expect. But again, it's just another little layer of flavor going in. And it's wonderful. It makes a big difference. A little bit of honey just makes a big difference. So now that we've got this all stirred in together, I'm going to dish it up. think that's enough? I don't know. Maybe a little more. What do you think? Okay. Tonight I have some crackers with it, but tomorrow night when we have this for dinner, we're going to have cornbread. You have to have corn, in my opinion, you have to have cornbread with chili. So I also like on mine a little dab of sour cream. Not too much. Just a little dab. Top it off with a couple sprinkles of sliced green onion. Oh, isn't that pretty? Some people like it with a little cheese. My husband likes it with a lot of cheese. And there you go. This is my family favorite chili. If you're enjoying this video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe. And for this and other recipes, go to www.thejourneygirl.com and you can also find the link to my, my cookbook there. So until next time, journey on.